Hey guys, so my hair was messy, so I decided to put on a hat for this video, but uh, today we're gonna talk about structural drawings, what goes into them and how to like set them up. So this is gonna be a general overview of what I've learned while working at the structural firm I'm at right now. If you know of any other ways to set up drawings or you find something wrong with mine, please let me know. Like I said, this is just my experience and what I've learned doing residential, like commercial stuff. So uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, uh, timestamps are gonna be provided below if you wanna skip around, totally fine. So what are structural drawings? It's a plan or set of plans and details for how a building or other structure will be built. Okay, so that's why it's important to always have a PE, a professional engineer, stamp their name onto a set of drawings because that's proof that these drawings will work and that it's safe to use. Because we don't normally send out our calculations with the project or with the set of drawings. If you think about it, we don't normally send out, uh, send our calculations uh, as a product. That's more for in-house like record. If anyone ever asks for the records, it's there for us to send it to them. And it's also kind of concerning because uh, no one usually asks for that unless something's gone terribly wrong. It's important to have a good system of archiving all your calculations and past work. So next up is software. Most firms use uh, some form of CAD or BIM to set up these sheets in their drawings. There's a big difference between CAD and BIM, at least I think so. I personally prefer Revit over AutoCAD. Uh, I find it a lot easier. The lines are intelligent, but that's a whole nother video. I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, I guess before any of these like computer-aided drafting softwares, people just did it by hand. Uh, that's before me, so I'm not really gonna talk about that. So yeah, let's start talking about the layout of the drawings. So the general order of structural drawings is as follows. It's typically general notes and schedules, you know, the first page or two, and followed by the plans. The plans could be floor plans, ceiling plans, roof plans. Uh, and then after plans, it's usually details. So the first page is typically general notes and maybe some schedules. This has all the information regarding the project, uh, such as the design load, as well as notes on the material used in the project, such as what steel was used, what kind of concrete was used, uh, what kind of reinforcement is used. So going down the list, next up is plans. This is where you'll typically see details being called out. <laughs> oh, peaches. So yes, on the plans, you'll typically have uh, details being called out. It's usually the detail number followed by the page number and this is to help you see how members are connected how they're oriented because the plan view is a great bird's eye view of what the building looks like from above but sometimes you need a side angle view which is what section cuts are for really you want as few details as possible uh, what i mean by that is that you want to make a typical detail that can be applied throughout the building that's pretty much my take on structural drawings if you have any thoughts or comments on anything I said or shared with you guys, uh, please let me know. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you on the next one.